In this video, we'll discuss the functions of BC Designer Online related to strategy mapping. I'm going to use the uh, Sustainable Draw Scorecard template for this purpose. Here on the Strategy Map tab, I have a map that was created automatically from the elements that I have here on the KPIs tab. Let's have a detailed look at this map. On the top, we have a mission statement, a statement that summarizes the top-level goal of our organization. Then uh, we have some perspectives and their descriptions. These are the standard perspectives of the Balanced Scorecard framework. If you feel like you need to add an additional perspective, you can easily do it on the KPIs tab. Uh, the next part of a good strategy are the strategic themes or strategic priorities. They are listed in the bottom part on the map. And we can see uh, that the colors of some objects on the map change depending on the strategic theme they belong to. Now, uh, we're moving from strategic themes to the level of business goals. They are shown on the map in the form of the rectangles. To make this goal specific, we need to know the ways to quantify and measure them. That's why we have these lines that are the performance indicators aligned with the goal. Some lines are green and uh, these are the leading indicators that quantify success factors and help us to track their activities. And uh, some lines are gray. Those are logging indicators that quantify the outcomes and help us to track their achieved results. For uh, some goals, we have detailed action plans or initiatives. We can recognize uh, the initiatives by the clipboard icon. Finally, uh, a good strategy should be consistent. The, the goals should support each other. On this strategy map, the goals are linked to each other by the cause and effect connections. Now, I want to show you how easy it is to modify this map. Let's add some new goal indicators and initiatives. I remove one of the goal from the customer perspective so that I have more space. And now I will select the customer perspective and use the add button on the toolbar to add a new goal. Uh, let's call it improve customer service. Here we have our new goal on the map. Let's add some indicators to it. I have to select the goal again and click Add button. This time I will enter the name of the indicator. It can be a customer satisfaction rate. And in the context of this goal, this indicator will be logging. Let's add another indicator by clicking Add button. Uh, the name for the new indicator will be Response Time. And in the context of this goal, it will be Leading Indicator. We have our goal. And it is quite specific now, as it is quantified by uh, leading and logging indicators. Let's make it even more specific and add some action plan to it. I select the goal, click on the initiatives button on the toolbar, and enter details for some initiative. Its name can be conduct staff training and I can also add some relevant budget and timeline. 
the software updated the treasure map for me with this new information. Now uh, let's explore some advanced functions related to the strategy maps. In the beginning, we talked about a mission statement. How can we change it? We need to go to the KPIs tab, select the root element, and change the text in the mission text field. And before uh, we were working directly on the strategy map tab, but we can do even more interesting things from the KPI tab. Let's start by adding a new indicator. I select improve customer service goal and use the add button on the toolbar to add a new indicator. For example, it can be retention rate. Let's do some basic setup. It is measured in percent and uh, we can enter some random value. It can be 80%. I can switch to the strategy map and check that this indicator appeared here on the strategy map. Let's get back to the KPI step. Now we can customize the way this indicator looks on the strategy map. To do this, I need to select an indicator, I have it selected, and switch to the context tab. Here I have some additional settings. I can use these glyphs to change the icons or glyphs that the software uses to visualize this indicator on the map. Let's change it to something, this gauge chart and to the current value. Also, I can select here if this indicator is leading or lagging indicator. I can also select if I want to see this element on the map. And uh, finally, I can choose the strategic theme for this item. Or I can add uh, some new strategic themes if I need it. I'm switching back to the strategy map. I see that my indicator is here. And um, this map was created automatically, but we certainly can customize it accordingly to our needs. What we can do? We can move elements on the map. We can add some uh, graphical objects using the list of commands from this menu. Or we can add some picture some logo, or uh, we can create some empty map and add all the goals manually. Actually, we are not limited to a single map. We can use uh, these controls to add more maps, like I have here this informational map. So what these new maps might be? Uh, one might be a classical strategy map. Another might be an overview map or geographical map with uh, KPIs. Or we can start from scratch and design some map according to our needs. For example, a process map or root cause diagram. What is important that you can use the goals and indicators from your scorecard on this map. You might be asking, what else can you do with these maps? Well, you can invite your colleagues and use the maps during strategy discussion session. In a separate video, we talk about giving access rights to these scorecards. Or Probably you work on the strategic report. In this case, you can export this map as a picture file. To do this, you need to uh, go to uh, the map settings and use this export button. As you can see, uh, our tool can do many things to automate strategy maps. But how can one create a good strategy map? How to avoid typical mistakes? Well, 
we have some experience to share with our customers. And in the description text for this video, I've added the links to some of the best practices that we have learned. I'm sure you'll find these materials really useful. That's all about strategy maps. As always, should you have any questions, feel free to contact our customer support.